next project is a tangram puzzle right here. There's a lot of really good math in here um, and a lot of good problem solving. Again, the key feature in this tangram puzzle is knowing isosceles right triangles. And in an isosceles right, the isosceles means two legs are congruent. So the angles opposite them are congruent. The right means there's a right angle in here. So if this is a five, this would be a five, this would be a five root two. And it always works out that way, because of the Pythagorean theorem. But Tim, if this is a nine, this is a nine. And then Kyle, this right here is a nine root two. Nine root two. The other case is that if the hypotenuse right here is an integer like 11, this leg right here, Judah, is going to be what? 11 root 2. 11, 11 divi divided by root 2. Yep, exactly. It's going to be 11 divided by root 2. If it's 11 divided by root 2, times root 2 gives me the integer 11. So then, uh, Danny, if this leg is 11 divided by root 2, what's this leg right here? 11 divided by root 2. Okay. So as I draw this puzzle, our puzzle is going to be 6 inches by 6 inches. So this measurement right here is 6 by 6. I'm going to draw in my diagonal. These are my, well actually let me do that first. So if this is 6 and this is 6, this is hypotenuse Kylie? 6 root 2. So this whole hypotenuse is 6 root 2. And then my first two triangles here. All right, so this is the puzzle here. I'm going to draw in this. I create another two right triangles. So this is one of my root triangles. This is one of my isosceles right triangles. And here's another one. If the hypotenuse is six, what's this leg right here? Six divided by root two. Six divided by root two, exactly. Right? 6 divided by root 2 is a leg times root 2 is 6. So then, Mason, what does this leg here have to be? Uh, six. Uh, this is a leg and this is a hypotenuse. So these two legs have to be congruent. So if this is 6 root 2, this is 6 root 2. I'm sorry, 6 divided by root 2. Right? Well, then how could half be 6 divided by root 2? Half be 6 divided by root 2, and the whole thing be 6 root 2. Did I do something wrong here? How am I going to get this plus this to equal that, or do they even do that? Uh huh? Can't that be um, of the half? Wouldn't that be 3 root 2? Yeah, that's exactly right. The whole thing 6 root 2 in red. So half of it from here to here is 3 root 2. So I guess the question is, is 3 root 2 and 6 divided by root 2 equal? Or did I make a mistake? Adam, how are you going to figure out if they're the same thing or not? Calculator. Oh, calculator is a great solution. <laughs> calculator is a great solution. So I do 6 divided by root 2. Yep, it's the same. So what, what's 6 divided by root 2? 6 divided by root 2 is... Um, 4.2426. So this is 4.24. That's called an approximate value versus the exact value. You do the same thing on my calculator with this, and I get 4.24. That's also the same thing, so I can see that they're saying. Any ideas how I could convert this to this or this to this? Uh huh. Yeah, I have 6 divided by root 2. Yeah, I have 6 over root 2. I could always multiply by 1 so it's not to affect the value. That's exactly right. Then I have 6 root 2 in the numerator. I have root 2 times root 2, which is, what's that name? 2. Right, root 4, which is 2. So I have 6 over root 2, which is 2. Then what do I do there? Yeah, 2 goes in here once and in here 3 times, and it gives me 3 root 2. So I can see 6 over root 2 and 3 root 2 are the same thing. Any questions on that? Okay, so then I'll let you go ahead and figure out the lengths of all the other pieces in this puzzle. Alright, so here's the puzzle. Let me erase this. I only have about five of them, so you're going to have to split into groups of five. Uh, this line right here, 
this line goes here, this is here, this is a square. If I have a square, a square, isosceles right triangle, isosceles right triangle, parallelogram, and another isosceles right triangle. Remembering the outside dimension is six, so I can figure everything out from there. We're not using approximate values, do everything in exact values, and then you can check it with a calculator, approximate value, and a ruler. So on your ruler, what should this be about? Four and a quarter. Yeah, so when I check the length of this right here, it should be about four and a quarter inches.